Indong, officially the municipality of Indong, Tagalog, Bayan ng Indong, is a first-class municipality in the province of Cavite, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 65,599 people. The municipality is situated in the central part of Cavite province, approximately 12 kilometers (7.5 miles) from Tagaytay Ridge. The municipality consists of the Poblacion and surrounding barangays with a total land area of 8,920 hectares acres. Etymology Indong, originally called Indon, was established as a town in 1655, when it was administratively separated from the nearby town of Salang, Cavite. Indong derived its name from the words Inrang or Indon, a tree which was also called Anabang. The tree of Inrang was used to be abundant in the local since the early times. History Before 1655, separation and independence Indong was part of Salang, Cavite for about 70 years. The municipality of Indong was organized with a prominent native, Juan Dimabiling, as the first governor Silo. The distance between the barrio of Indong and the Poblacion of Salang caused the residents of the former great difficulty in transacting officials' business and attending religious services. This led the people of Indong to petition higher authorities for the conversion of the barrio into a separate municipality. The exact month and day of the municipality's establishment has no verification. However, existing documents prove that Indong was instituted during the cold month of 1655. Therefore, the municipal government decided and declared December 1st as Indong Day, which was annually celebrated and thereafter by its people. 1896-1896 The Philippine Revolution during the Philippine Revolution, Indon was known by its Katipunan name, Wilang Tinig. It was also during this time that the letter G was added to its name, thus it is now called Indong. It belongs to the Magdawing faction, which rivaled the Magdalo faction headed by Emilio Aguinaldo. In Barangay Limbon, Andres Bonifacio was arrested after being defeated in the Tejeros Convention and prevented from pursuing his counter-revolutionary plan according to witnesses. One of these witnesses was Severino de las Alas, a resident of the town, who accused Bonifacio of trying to burn the Church of Indong, dedicated to the town patron, St. Gregory the Great, built in the 17th century and one of the oldest in the province. He later served in Aguinaldo's government as interior secretary. 1906-1998, Cavite State University the Cavite State University began here in 1906 as an intermediate school and was later transformed into a high school. Named after Severino de las Alas in 1958, it later became a college in 1962 and in 1998 earned university status. 2008-2015, Tagaytay Water Crisis in 2008, previous Mayor Bienvenido de Mero issued a certification to PTK2H20 authorizing it to utilize, use, or tap four rivers in Indong. After the certification in 2008, the company began ground clearing operations and excavation in Barangay Kekwit 2. Meanwhile, the Save Waters of Indong movement criticized the DENR Region 4A for issuing an Environmental Compliance Certificate (ECC) without the required Environmental Impact Statement (ICE) that would assess the possible environmental hazards the project would cause. PTK2H20 also only secured the ECC after the water permits were issued. In other words, the ECC is incomplete and issued as an afterthought. Under the law, the ECC and the requisite ICE are conditions prior to and not after the issuance of permits, reads the petition. The ECC allows the company to build an intake structure, booster pumps, flocculation and sedimentation basin, pressure filter tanks, effluent channels, booster pumping stations, water pipes, and administration buildings in Barangay Kekwit 2. The project also led to the cutting down of trees, which also allegedly lacked an ECC. Geography 
Indong is a landlocked municipality with an area of 8,920 hectares 22,000 acres. It is centrally located in the province of Cavite. It is bounded on the north by the municipality of Naic and the city of Trece Martires, on the south by the municipality of Mendez and the city of Tagaytay, on the west by the municipalities of Alfonso and Marigondon, and on the east by the municipality of Amadio and the city of General Trias. Topography The topography of Indong is characterized by gently sloping or rolling terrain. Almost 40.36% of its total land area is within the slope grade of 3 to 8%, while 2,135 hectares is within the slope range of 8 to 15%, which is characterized by undulating or sloping terrain. Climate Indong has a tropical climate, Köppen climate classification, ah, with two pronounced seasons, wet season and dry season. Wet season covers the period from May to December of each year and dry season covers the period from January to April. Elevation The land elevation ranges from 230 to 380 meters 750 to 1,250 feet above sea level. The land area is furthermore ferry well dissected by numerous creeks and streams that are deeply cut, characterized by steep and abrupt banks. Rivers, creeks and springs supply the water needed for both agricultural and households purposes. These rivers and creeks also serves as natural drainage into which storm water is discharged and flow in northern direction to discharged into either Manila Bay or Laguna de Bay. Barangays Indong is politically subdivided into 36 barangays. Local government Municipal officials Barangay officials Demographics Population in the 2015 census, the population of Indong, was 65,599 people, with a density of 880 inhabitants per square kilometer or 2,300 inhabitants per square mile. There are five five residential subdivisions within the municipality which occupies 44.75 hectares of land. Languages the municipality of Indong has a majority of English and Tagalog speakers. Almost all households in the town are bilingual and know how to speak English. Religion Christianity is the predominant faith, composed of Roman Catholics, Protestants, and other independent Christian groups. A considerable percentage of the population are also composed of Muslims. Religious tolerance exists among members of different sects. Economy Agriculture The economy of Indong largely depends on agriculture. It is a first-class municipality. The 80.45% or 7,176.38 hectares are primarily devoted to agriculture. They are predominantly planted with various types of crops like coconut, banana, coffee, fruit trees, and pineapple, while there are small portions of rice, root crops, vegetables, and corn. Most farmers are engaged in multi-cropping farming system. The largest number of employment is farming and trading of agricultural products. Livestock and poultry raisers occupied an area of about 22.76 hectares or 0.32% of the total agricultural area. Indong has a public market, located in Poblacion 4, where goods such as vegetables, seafood, meat, and household items are sold. On the trade and industry, existing commercial and agribusiness establishments play a relatively major role in the predominantly agri-based economy of Indong. Municipal record on this establishment shows the wholesale and retail trade stores are clustered within the Poblacion or urban area while in the rural, the trading establishments are dominated by Sari Sari stores. Agro-business commercial farms raise large volumes of livestock and poultry. As per record of the Municipal Agricultural Office, there are existing hog farms, broiler farms, layer and breeder farms. 
Indong Public Market and Slaughterhouse stand on 20,316 square meter government-owned property along J. Dimabiling Street, Poblacion IV. This public market has three simple market buildings and bagshakan for wholesale trading. The slaughterhouse occupies an area of 1,800 square meters, which is adjacent to meat section of market building. It has complete facilities like corral and hog holding pen with drainage and sanitation facilities. Infrastructure Transportation Land transportation is the principal mode of transporting goods and services in Indong and its neighboring municipalities and cities. Vehicular routes going to other municipalities are Indong Mendez Tagaytay City via Indong Mendez Road, then Mendez Tagaytay Road. Indong Alfonso via Indong Alfonso Road. Indong NAIC via NAIC Indong Road. Indong Trece Martires City Dismarinas City via Trece Martires Indong Road passing to Governor's Drive, and Indong Pasay City Baclaran, via Trece Martires Indong Road, Governor's Drive Trece Martires City, and Aguinaldo Highway Dismarinas City. There are several types of vehicles traversing the place, but the most commonly used vehicles for public conveyances are buses, jeepneys, and a number of tricycles plying within the Poblacion area and nearby barangays. Indong has 25.57 km Barangay Roads, 4.982 km Municipal Roads, 28.64 km Provincial Provincial Roads, 29.64 km National Roads, and 46.433 km Farm to Market Roads within the municipality. The Barangay Roads primarily provide the delivery of goods, services, and facilities which bring improvement on the living condition of the rural populace. On the other hand, the 93.10% of farm to market roads are not passable particularly during rainy seasons. The widening and improvement of these roads would ensure faster, easier, and safer transport of farm products. There are 30 bridges connecting the 36 barangays of this municipality. These are classified as national, provincial, and barangay bridges. Utilities Water the original waterworks system was constructed in 1922-1924 with Iclois Spring as its source and covers only the Poblacion. The system consists of a spring chamber, pumphouse with hydro-turbine prime over and centrifugal pump, ground reservoir, 2 km transmission pipelines and distribution facilities. In 1980, a separate distribution pipe and ground reservoir in Barangay Katambog was included in the system. Total registered concessionaires were 463 as of August 1980. Water production from the spring source is 580 cubic meter of which only 26.6% is accounted for. The total water demand for various design years is derived from the demands for domestic, commercial, institutional and public faucets demands including an allowance for leakage and wastage. The possible sources of water supply for Indong are springs, namely, Ikloi, IPIEI and IPIE2. All the springs emanate from fissures on the contact between permeable pyroclastics and impermeable tuff above the river course. The full production of Ikloi spring alone is estimated to meet the water demand of Indong Water District. Electricity The electric services are provided by Maralka, the sole electric power distributor in Indong and Greater Manila area. Telecommunication The Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company PLDT, and Digital Telecommunications Philippines Digitel, are the two leading telephone companies serving the municipality. The PLDT has its branch office at Barangay Catapos, while the Digitel branch office is located at Tagaytay City. Year 2010, Globe Telecom is now operating their telephone lines bundled with DSL to selected barangays of Indong including Poblacion, Catapos and Alulod. Smart Communications, Globe Telecom and Digitel through Sun Cellular installed their mobile base transceiver stations and telecommunication antenna tower in the locality. Smart has currently five mobile base station towers, Globe has only eight and Sun Cellular has one mobile transceiver facility. Cellular phones are commonly used by the residents especially in remote barangay where telephone landline services are not available. Newspapers, magazines, and other related reading materials reach the municipality. 
Likewise, radio and television sets have a good reception. All these forms of communication channels make the populace of Indong well informed and up to date in terms of national and international issues. Healthcare MV Santiago Medical and Diagnostic Center is the only hospital in Indong, located in A. Luna Street Poblacion 3 Indong, Cavite and was founded on May 27, 2013. Education Cavite State University The Cavite State University, CVSU, Filipino, Pamantasang Estado ng Cavite, is a university in the province of Cavite in the Philippines. Its 72-hectare, 180-acre, main campus, known as the Don Severino de los Alas Campus, is located in the municipality of Indong, Cavite about 60 kilometers 37 miles southwest of Manila. The educational institution has 10 other campuses spread all over the province. The school was established initially as an intermediate school by the Thomasites, a group of American teachers brought by the United States during the early part of the American colonial period to revamp the system of education in the country. By 1964, the school has grown into a college known as the Don Severino Agricultural College DSAC. It became a university on January 22, 1998, and was renamed as the Cavite State University. Private schools, public elementary schools, public secondary schools Cavite State University Science High School Lumampong National High School Lumampong National High School Indong Annex Lumampong National High School Kalimpang Annex Sister City Gangneung City, South Korea See also Cavite State University Street. Gregory the Great Parish Church Kalame Buna. References External links Municipality of Indong, Philippine Standard Geographic Code, Philippine Census Information, British Village, Indong, List of city and municipal mayors of Cavite.